The festival governors rejected one day of the year mm. for the 1960 festival, yeah. right? It was subsequently done by the Adelaide Theatre Group in Ballantyne, up in, the, up in Adelaide, Adelaide, not in their theatre. Yeah. Uh, then the festival rejected uh, the ham funeral mm. for, for the, the governors rejected the ham funeral for the 1962 festival. He was he was mystified. There's a letter there from Patrick saying that he was so confused by all the trouble with the governors that creativity went out of his head. Mm. I've almost got his own language, and it was because of the the, the reactions to the ham funeral that he got writing again. Mm. And in the next two years, he wrote three more plays, Season of Sarsbrilla, Cheery Soul, Night on Bull Mountain, in two uh, years. Yeah. So I will leak the script to me. So he was on the, um, the advisory committee? He was committee? publicity officer for the, for the, for the Board of Governors. Uh, right, right, yes. Daddy and I read it over breakfast, and that was it. Yeah. That was it. And uh, we were determined to, uh, to produce it. And what, what was it about it? What was it from that first reading that made you make that decision over breakfast? Well, you know, you, you know you're dealing with deep sentiments. You know you're dealing with tragedy and tragic farce. The, the, the debate between the, the, the landlord when he was still alive and the landlady, I mean, that... I, I don't remember the words, but you remember the the hassle that they, that yeah. they had, yeah. and it is it is soul soul stirring, uh, and for a physicist and a chemist, she was a mathematical chemist, I was a mathematical physicist. For for two scientists to read this stuff, it was it it, it was just yeah. the language was mag magic. We just read the whole bloody play mm. right mm. right through. That Jeff Dutton, uh, sit, helped by Max Harris, a great friend of Max Harris, um, introduced me to Patrick White. Mm. And I met Patrick out at Dogwoods. Yep. You know, he lived at Dogwoods yep. before they shifted into, uh, into town. Um, then Jeff persuaded Patrick to let us have it. Patrick was a bit, little bit equivocal mm. because he thought we were not a fully professional group and I said we can get professional lead actors and director um, designer and anyway he let us have it. What, how did you respond when you, when you said you wanted to meet to talk about producing Ham Funeral? Because he hadn't had any success with any plays up till Well he, he was, well he, he was certainly interested right from the, uh, right from the yeah. start. And um, I think the the agreement was ultimately in writing. I think he wanted to meet me and figure out whether I was any good at uh, achieving things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He wanted Such to be assured, and he certainly got assurance from uh, Dutton and Harris. And I don't think anyone's ever written this up, but I called on Patrick a lot. And while he was writing, he was intractable. And he used to yell at Manoli. And how Manoli put up with him, I don't know. There are photographs here of um, photographs of when they met. They met in Egypt. Yeah. Because Lascaris is a Greek. Mm. And he was in the army in Egypt, and Patrick White was uh, born to Australian parents in London. Yeah. But he was in Egypt, and they met, and that was that. Anyway, he then came here, and they bought that farm at uh, Dogwoods. Mm. And he had these dogs. The dogs used to sleep in his bed. Yeah. Did you know that? No. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs slept in his bed at his feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny man. The big thing in 1961 was the world premiere of the Ham Funeral. It revolutionised mm. Australian theatre. I mean, it did. Mm. And they came from all over the place. I mean, the publicity we got was quite incredible. Harry Kippax. Yeah. You know, Harry yep. Kippax. In the, in the advertiser. And we, we were just sold out. Mm. Um, 
And what was the response from people on that night, on that opening night? Well, you you can imagine what it was like when the when the curtain went down. It was just silence. Mm. Uh, you could tell it was chilled chilled silence. And uh, the prob- this would have been something that had never been, you know, something like this had un- never been unique. Seen. Yeah, unique. absolutely. And yeah, I, I, I doubt it. from that kitchen sink kind of drama and, you know, absolutely. naturalism that we'd seen. I can't remember whether there was any applause or not. I, 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 there was silence. Then there was murmuring. And I think that was it. And... Uh, then all the critics were overboard. As I say, Harry mm. Kipax for years was uh, writing in the Sydney Morning Herald mm. about White and uh, 